Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about Lucidchart. What the heck is Lucidchart and why does Justin want to talk to you about it? Well, folks, what's happening in Tokyo, ServiceNow Tokyo that's coming out in late September, is there's some Lucidchart integrations and they look really cool. I've seen some demos through some trainings that we get and I'm really impressed. So I was like, okay, well, what is this thing? Let me go try it. So this is it behind me. This is Lucidchart. I signed up for a trial account of the base level just to see what it is. And to me, it's kind of like Visio. So I can grab things from the little doc over there. I can drag them onto the canvas. Maybe I want a database. I can create relationships between things pretty easily. And then I can go up and modify kind of what those things look like and play with the lines and play with what things, you know, look and feel. All right. So that was pretty basic. It's nice to be able to create a Visio and share it with people and have everybody edit. Then I started messing around with shapes and I came in here and said, oh, my AWS architecture, look at all these icons. Wow, that could be pretty useful if I'm an AWS engineer. Oh, well look, here's all these geometric shapes and entity relationships and enterprise integration and messaging systems. And I was like, okay, there's a server rack diagram. That's pretty cool. Let me add that to my doc and play around with a server rack diagram. And I can drag that over, put that on here. And now I can start documenting things in my infrastructure and putting some documentation around that just by dragging and dropping that onto there. Then I clicked on the shape library again and noticed this templates tab here at the very top. And I was like, hmm, so maybe they have some pre-built stuff. Oh my gosh, do they have some pre-built stuff. So I quickly narrowed in on stuff like network diagrams. Um, here's a Cisco multiple ISG diagram that's premium, but you can kind of see there what that looks like. And when you click on these, let's get the one that's not premium. We'll do this network security diagram, we'll insert it. What it does is it creates this little new tab on the bottom here where it imports that diagram and then there it is on my canvas. Now I can come in here and I can drag around and I can start looking at the firewall and internal devices and messing around with this diagram. Really, really quick to get up and running on this thing. Let me show you one more thing before we wrap the video. And that was back here in the templates, I stumbled across service management. All right, so here's an incident identification from Pink Elephant where we can have our incident process. Oh, I got into the premium. I thought I inserted that earlier and it worked fine. Let me try it one more time. Oh, you know what? I might've done too many of these. So let me just delete this one here and then go back to my shape library and put that service management in one. I mean, if this it looks as cool as it is, I might actually pay more for this. Um, yeah, it's not gonna let me, but lots that I could do there, lots that I could put in there. Um, you can see on the left-hand side, I got some network shapes that I pulled in earlier when I was playing around. So lots of neat things I can just drag and drop onto my canvas and then start creating those relationships between the things that might have to have relationships do my documentation. So what is going on with ServiceNow? Well, I don't want to get too much into the features of Tokyo, but essentially what happens in apps like these is that engineers are creating artifacts in them. And there are artifacts around, you know, what things look like, how things are structured, how things, what processes are. And so what ServiceNow seems to be doing is making a way to connect the data that's in ServiceNow with a graphical representation of that stuff in Lucidchart. And I haven't seen Lucidchart come up in release notes before, so I thought I'd check it out. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested in ServiceNow and or Lucidcharts. And until next time, don't forget, always be learning.